Learning Italian doesn't always have to be super serious and super hard. You can find the humor in new words that can, and that can make the language learning process more enjoyable and even memorization more effective because you're going to link that to a good feeling. So today I'm, go I'm going to share with you a list of 12 Italian words that will make you laugh or hopefully will just bring a smile to your face. And these words are also a great way to get a sense of the culture behind the language. So let's begin. Iniziamo. The first word is farfallone. Farfallone. Now, in Italian, when we add one to the ending of a word, we are making that word bigger. So farfalla in Italian means butterfly, but farfallone literally means a big butterfly. Now, the sound is very funny, farfallone, and can be a little bit of a tongue twister, but it's not the sound, the funnier thing of this word. The funnier thing is the fact that we don't really use that to talk about big butterfly, we don't. Farfallone is a word that we use to describe a person, usually a man, who likes to flirt. So probably this comes from the fact that we see that person like a big butterfly that likes to fly from one flower to another. And that's why we call it un farfallone. Uh, the term can carry a more playful or a slightly mocking meaning, depending on the context. But that's what farfallone is. The second word is pasticcino. Pasticcino. This word is not only cute and sweet in its meaning, because pasticcino means little pastry, but it's also very cute and sweet to say. It literally means small pastry, because that's how we call them, those little pastries with cream or chocolate, all the, all the good stuff that you can find in an Italian cafe. And it's definitely the cutest way to refer to a nice little fruit treat. Next time you're coming to Italy to a cafe, think that you're getting yourself a pasticcino, un pasticcino. So nice. The third word is Pettegolezzo. Pettegolezzo. This word means gossip in Italian. And it's a very, it has a very effective sound. Pettegolezzo really makes you think of chatter and people talking of petty things. Pettegolezzo. Uh, very much like its um, related verb, which is spettegolare which means to gossip, spettegolare. Can you not imagine people just talking about other people when they use these, uh, when you use this word? So remember, pettegolezzo is the Italian word for gossip. The fourth word is zanzara. Zanzara. Zanzara means mosquito, and it mimics the annoying sound of this annoying insects. I know, probably they're here for a reason, but who likes them? We don't. So zanzara really mimics that zzz, zzz sound that you hear in your ear. And that's where the, the word comes from. Mosquito in Italian is zanzara. Another word is scarabocchio. Scarabocchio. This literally means a scribble or a doodle. Uh, and it refers to when you jot down something quickly or you just like uh, doodle or scribble something while you're doing something else. Uh, scarabocchio is a very funny word. It sounds very funny to our ears and it has a playful connotation because scarabocchio is something you never take seriously. It's just something lighthearted and a little bit of whimsical. Scarabocchio. Another word that's very uh, funny in Italian, this can be very hard, so let's do this slowly the first time, is chiacchiericcio. Chiacchiericcio. And this word can kind of be translated to chit chat in English. 
What we mean with chiacchiericcio is that background chatter that you can hear when you're at a party or even maybe when you are talking to someone and you can hear someone else talking in the background. That's chiacchiericcio. And it, it is re- really a word that trips off your tongue, uh, but it really encapsulates the meaning, the essence of chit chat. Chiacchiericcio makes you, think, makes you think of all people talking in the background. And if you try to say this very quickly, you're probably going to laugh. Chiacchiericcio, chiacchiericcio, chiacchiericcio. The seventh word is frullatore. Frullatore. Frullatore means blender. Frr, that's the sound that it tries to encapsulate. It, it does work just like the sound, the, the item it describes. It, it describes something that's wheeling around and around. And so we have this R that's very predominant, frullatore. Uh, and it really makes uh, a very funny word because of that, frullatore. The next word is actually a verb, and this verb is gufare, gufare. Now, this verb is not funny in the meaning, but it's usually used in a funny way. It means to jinx or to bring bad luck. Um, It probably, no, it probably does come from the noun gufo, which uh, means all in Italian. And the reason why we made up made this verb up is because in some Italian regions, gufo, the all, is considered an animal that brings bad luck. Povero gufo, poor all. That's not true, but that's something that has developed in the culture. And believe it or not, Italian people can be very scaramantic. Like they can really believe in things like, oh, this is going to bring me bad luck, or this is going to bring me good luck. So, gufare is a verb that finds its role and its place in our culture. Someone could tell you, non mi gufare, non mi gufare. That means, don't bring me bad luck, don't say something that's going to bring me bad luck, or don't say something that's like wishing to me to fail. That's the meaning of gufare. Anyways, the sound is nice and funny, and even the way we use it, it's mostly funny. Another verb is strimpellare. Strimpellare. It's incredible how this verb with this sound gives you exactly the idea of what it is. It refers to plucking or strumming an instrument, an instrument especially if you, someone is an amateur, like someone who's not a professional uh, player. So it gives you the idea that you are especially with uh, like a guitar uh, hitting, like using the guitar in a way that really makes not very harmonious sounds. Strimpellare. That's not good, but it's also used in a very, uh, it's often used in a very like uh, ironic way. We can use that of ourselves like, oh, so strimpellare un po'. I can kind of play, but not that well. The next word is pappagallo. Pappagallo. Pappagallo means parrot. And it's not just the animal itself that's very colorful, even the word itself, it's very colorful uh, to our ears, if that that makes sense. Pappagallo can be a tongue twister for non-native speakers, but it's funny sound with all those repetitions like pa pa ga lo and the double consonants pa pa ga lo really makes it uh, very funny and in fact it's usually a word that kids like very much pa pa ga lo another animal is for the next word which is coccodrillo coccodrillo crocodile now this definitely sounds funnier than it looks but probably that's because, thankfully, we don't have coccodrilli in Italy. So, um, it's a word that has a lot of sounds that are very funny, like the cocco. Cocco is something that's very funny to our ears with the double, co- double C. 
and the R, the Drillo and the double L, everything makes it very funny. But again, it's funny to say not so fun to meet, probably. Coccodrillo. And finally, we have another verb that's personally one of my favorite words, and that's gattonare. Gattonare, which means to crawl. As you can see, this word contains gatto, cat in Italian. So this word is used to describe the kids who start crawling as little cats that are trying to make their own way, to move their body, uh, to try start uh, walking, but they start doing it by crawling. So it's a very cute word. It's, uh, it definitely can put a smile on your face thinking of these uh, young kids as little kittens moving around. And that's the way we describe that. Gattonare. Okay, that was my list of 12 Italian words that I hope brought a smile to your face. And I hope the next time you are going to uh, learn new Italian words, you will think of how they can be funny when you learn them. Uh, also, let me know which one was your favorite ones and which one you're going to use uh, soon. That's all for today, guys. È tutto per oggi. Buona giornata e buon divertimento con l'italiano. Enjoy Italian language. Ciao da Valentina.